Hey, what's going on, y'all? I want to show you how I got one of the best talismans in the game, and also how to use the perfect parry technique in order to conquer these aging, untouchable enemies. Man, the developers really did a great job by putting an enemy like this in the game. It really mixes things up. It makes you think about what you have to do. So it's pretty fun, and I had a little adrenaline rush when I didn't know how to kill this guy. I ran up to him, and I just prepared like I normally do drinking my potions and whatnot, didn't do anything. I tried to hit him and he was immune and he just teleported behind me, drained all of my health. Turns out you have to use a parry in order to make him vulnerable so that you're then able to deal damage. You don't even have to assassinate him, you could just take him out with a few swipes of your weapon. He's pretty weak, but the thing is it's gonna take you a little while for you to get used to this parry because I haven't done it in so long. By the way, there are like six of these aging untouchable enemies and only one of them have this talisman that I'm talking about. And he's right here, located on the map in this area. So if you make a mark right here and just head over here from the abandoned church, then you'll find him. Now, when you prepare to parry this enemy, you don't have to do anything really. It doesn't require any special shield. Matter of fact, you don't even need your shield to be upgraded. Mine was level one. You just get like a medium shield and it'll tell you on there whether it's a parry skill or not. And just select one that has a parry on it and you just have to time it right. Okay, so here's the way I did it. As soon as you see him raise his arm, it's too early for you to swing. You have to wait till he's actually about to hit you, then hit the parry button, which will then knock him down. Like I said, it's about less than a half of a second window that you have to parry this enemy. And it takes practice, but once you get it, it's a piece of cake. Honestly, I wouldn't even worry about taking out those other ones, just this guy, because this is the only one that matters. He's the one who has a secret talisman. It's called the Age One's Exaltation. This talisman is perfect for a build that I'm about to make. It increases your attack power against enemies afflicted with madness. For those people who like using hands and martial arts and adding madness to your build, I can see the damage stacking really crazy here. Now, the reason I made this video is because I really want to express how good the Age One's Exaltation is. This talisman really does wonders. When I was in the Abyssal Woods, when I was gathering all these pieces together like the Talisman of the Dread and other things in order to make the build that I'm going to show you at the end of this video, I didn't know how powerful the build that I made was going to be. And as you can see the gameplay in PvP is pretty much dominating everybody. All it takes is two hits and they're dead. And the secret sauce within this is the fact that when somebody's afflicted with madness, unlike Blood Loss or Frostbite, that instantly causes damage, right? But it doesn't impede your movement. The madness status effect completely immobilizes the enemy for a few seconds, giving you a free attack. And all it requires is a perfectly timed attack by the matting hands with your skill. And for those of you who have been in the Abyssal Woods and have not gotten this, that's also the purpose of this video because this talisman is a huge part of the damage that you deal along with the Talisman of the Dread. But I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to give you a heads up, give you some techniques and pointers on how to actually parry these aging untouchables. And I hope it helps out. Now, if you want a full guide on how to get everything in the Abyssal Woods, including the Talisman of the Dread and Anaya's Torch, also a few other tips and techniques, you can click on this video right here. But if you've already got everything in the Abyssal Woods and you want to get straight into making a build that's insanely powerful, then you're in luck because I just made an insane madness build and you can click on this video right here and that'll do it for this video i appreciate you watching to the end and i'll see you over there fam be right out